Hey guys, Jay back with another video. Today's subject, how to make a cheap DIY entertainment center. Now, it's not really an entertainment center, it's just a little something I came up with, so let's get right to it. Okay, imagine you move out of your parents and go on your own, or move in with some roommates. Things can get pretty expensive, so finding furniture isn't exactly on your priority list, unless it's a bed. So most likely you buy a cheap or small TV that you want to hook up your gaming gear on, but it all looks like a mess with wires poking out at every turn. So what do you do? Well, today I'll show you how to clean up that mess as well as have a neat place for your systems. Not everything has to be done the way I did it, but of course I am going to share the details just so you can understand how I got my results. So to start off, I got a small kids table that isn't being used anymore. So I set the TV on top of it, leaving space underneath for all my games. But I didn't like how jumbled up my wires were, so I decided to try and fix it. Coincidentally, I had just bought a fan a couple weeks ago because the summer heat hit us hard. And being the craftsman that I am, I decided to keep the box in the closet instead of throwing it out. The fan I bought was like 20 bucks at Target. It was a 20 inch 3 speed box fan by Holmes. It looked like it had enough space for my systems. You don't need this box exactly, many others will do just fine, just try to find what works for you. Anyways, back to it. The box I had was in great condition since I used an X-Acto knife to open it, and that's really important for the next step. I used a wood burner to burn holes all across the box near the folds, and then I cut slits between every two holes. Obviously, not everyone has a wood burner, so you can just use scissors to cut open tabs, or even an X-Acto knife by itself. Whatever you use, make sure you're careful. Now, back to the build. These slots need to be at the top of the box near the flaps, so that wires can go in and out of it without looking like a mess. Obviously, you can trace your systems on the box beforehand and put the holes closer so it looks better, but I really didn't think it was that necessary. Now, you can set your systems on it and put it however you want, but if it has a disc slot, maybe it should go near the front. I put my Wii U and PS4 near the front for that reason. My switch is put sideways in between them so that it takes up less space and so that I can access the two USB ports on the sides for extra controllers. After that I plug all the cords into an extension cord that plugs right into the wall. And the extension cord stays inside the box, covered by the flaps, so that all the wires are hidden. This doesn't have to be underneath the TV either. This can be used next to a TV on the floor, and you don't have to stop there with the box either. If you really wanted to, you could reinforce the sides of the box with some wood on the inside, or even other boxes. And the outside can be painted all black or white or whatever colors you want. I hope this helps anyone who doesn't have too much furniture and needs a way to organize things on the cheap. If you end up making something similar, show me a pic on Instagram. I'd love to know if this helped anyone. Well, this has been Jay. Thanks for watching. It'd help a lot if you could leave a like and subscribe. Comment what you'd like me to do next for this channel, and I just might do it. 